afternoon. Uh, I am going to talk about a few books, well, two books, and a perfume that I just got. But first, let's have a word from our sponsor, JBS Farm Soaps. Um, I can't remember if I've told you about Amirage. Well, not Amirage. Givenchy, Givenchy made Amirage. I made Mirage, which is marriage in French. And it's a beautiful perfume base, and I just kind of swirled some um, white and gold um, layers, and then I put some squiggles on the top and sprinkled some gold mica, and just for fun. And I put in, <laughs> you know, you know, these guys are gonna break off. So some on some of them I put in little bits in there so you can shake them and they're pretty. And, but they make a great gift. And if you've ever smelled Amirage, then you'll know what this is sort of like. But oh. It's sophisticated and just very feminine. Let me show you something really fun. I just got a new mold and it's sheep. So this is a she Suffolk sheep because the Suffolk breed has black heads and they don't normally have horns, but this mold has horns. Uh, what can I say? So he's got little wool. I know I've got the plastic on it. Um, I made it in baby powder at first and I like that because I thought I wanted something soft and you know, wool soft on your cheek and everything so I thought baby baby powder husband didn't like that so I went to dig dig and all my um, fragrances I'm not gonna believe it I found something called sweet dreams there's a little bit of lavender and chamomile just some real sleepy soothing things so this one's called sweet dreams and I made it out of goat's milk so George is running out on that note but anyway so that's sweet dreams goat milk soap and while I was making that, I had on an old time movie. This was a Saturday or a Sunday, and Sinbad was playing, and it was so corny, but all of a sudden, the golden fleece came to mind. So I made a sheep with the golden fleece. And it's another gold mica running through the clear with a white face, so I don't know what breed that is. And this one is in Pearberry, and it smells a lot like pears, but with a little bit of white floral in there. Um, really nice. The neat thing about this silly shape, it fits your hand perfectly. You know, really good for suds and that. So there's my little soap. And let's talk first about a perfume that, um, a, a new perfume that I got. Uh, it, in Facebook Fragrance Friends that I talked about last time or so, um, someone said, oh, I put on this Cafe Coco and it's just perfect for this weather. And I went, Cafe Cacao, that sounds good. And then everybody started talking about it. So I had to order it. This was, I don't know how many milliliters, and it was $30. But, oh my gosh, here, smell. Do you get the cocoa? I get the cocoa first. Um, some people get coffee. I don't get the cafe, the coffee, very fast. But it comes out later a little bit. Just enough to kind of temper it into a mocha. But when I put it on, the, when I first got it, I put it on like a bit. And John goes, you smell like chocolate. So I was like, oh dear. Well, the next day, I wanted to keep layering. So the next day, put it on again. And in a few hours, oh my gosh, it changes to the richest. It still has the cafe um, mocha, coffee, mostly chocolate. But it developed, there's ambergris and some other things in here that I'll have to list because I can't remember them all. But it's U.S. made. She lives down in Carmel, California. And, okay, I can't stop. Uh, I might have to make a soap. I don't know if, I, I can't catch all the nuances. I don't have ambergris and all that. But this is really nice. There's a bigger one for $60, but for my first one, I just wanted a little guy. I will say this about this guy. Less all day. I put one bit here and I rub. I rub. It doesn't hurt the molecules. Um, and it lasts all day. By the end, you know, 10 hours, they're still there. It's changed, but it's still there. And besides that, you don't want to get in an elevator and blast everybody up. This thing is nummy. And the lady that made it is named Shelly Wall Shelly Waddington. And she is on Facebook. Facebook Fragrance Friend to talk to you about a book I got. Um, I got it a while ago and I haven't op you know, opened it with you guys, but this one is uh, Maison Fondée en 1862, Lauderay, Paris. 
sucre, the recipes, so it's the sugar recipes. And so it comes in this box, it's kind of hard to open, so I'm going to do it on my lap. But it's beautiful. And tissue wrapped. And then I take this out carefully, so I'm going to do that on my lap again. And the book cover is kind of suede. And I'm going to actually make something out of it, or I'm going to have Jessica make something out of it, because you know she's cord on blue trade. And the only thing I hunted for last night was the St. Honoré. I'm probably saying that wrong. St. Honor. <laughs> um, it's a puff pastry with a pastry cream and another kind of filling. Um, profiteroles are involved on there with caramel glaze on them. And profiteroles are little tiny um, cream puffs. But anyway, they're not in here. <laughs> they're on my Pinterest. I've got some real pretty ones. But just... I just got to show you the beauty of the photography. They have a lot of macaroons in here because they're very famous for their macaroon cookies, which Jessica makes. They're made out of almond flour and egg white, and that's darn near it. Um, then they get into a few um, other kinds of pastries. Pistache, which is pistache. Oh, I hope you can see. Oh, I suppose everything is being glare to you guys, but... You know, and in between they have pretty pages. Um, here's a, a, a fruit salad kind of soupy thing. Oh, come on, let's find some fancy stuff. Flan, that's not fancy enough. Oh, come on, find something pretty. Well, here's some cakes. And it's just a fun book to just sit and read. I don't want to drink it. I don't want to drink it with my tea because <laughs> I'll spill on it. Uh, but. The contents, they have macaroons, la petite gâteau, which are little cakes, les desserts glacés et fruits, which is frozen fruit desserts, les tarts, which are tarts and tartlets. Um, my French isn't that good, so I'll just go custards, creams and puddings, large cakes, patisseries, tea cakes and confections, biscuits and cookies, drinks, basic recipes. But, you know, we should all know those techniques already, but look at the presentation. Anyway, it's just a fun, pretty book to leave out on your tea table, right? We all have tea table. The other book that I'm reading, um, a subscriber sent to me, and this was her favorite book, and it's called The 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafiq. I'll put this information down below. Um, as you can see, I'm just starting, and the first few pages took me not too long to get into. It, it goes from, oh, what century? Like the, it goes back and forth from the, like 1242 to 2008. It jumps. And so it's a story of this dervish, which I have to figure out what it is. It's not a cartoon. <laughs> it's a seer or a, I want to say fortune teller. And anyway, he has visions and can see into the future. And then the, in the 2008 is a lady that's just a housewife and she likes thinks she likes just being a housewife, but her husband's fooling around. and So she realizes she's unhappy and she's supposed to review this manuscript. So I guess she has an at-home job type thing. And so she keeps putting it off, but when she starts reading the manuscript, she realizes love is missing from her life. And... Um, it's hard to put down at night. You know, I start reading and I'm like, oh, I don't want to turn out the light, but I have to because then I can't operate the next day. Anyway, I'm really enjoying it. Thank you so much, Iman. I'll have to keep you up with how I think it turns out. Unless you want to read it for yourself and I shouldn't tell you. Oh, on the announce, I need to announce with my soaps that I am going to do a uh, holiday fair here locally. So I'm going to turn off my Etsy site Friday through probably Monday because the sale is Saturday and I'll probably be dead Sunday. <laughs> and so I'll try to turn it back on. So, um, you know, I can make more of these things. And if you, you know, you really want stuff and it's not on the Etsy site, you can just, you know, message me and, and I can make whatever you want. <laughs> I've been making some of my favorite soap scents I'm putting into roller balls, mostly for me, but um, I do make um, a pink sugar for a friend. I start, which one? I made this one first, Sands of Morocco, and so it's just a roller ball. But oh, I love musk. And it's just a warm, nice for the winter um, musky scent. And I'm just playing with my labels here. I, just kind of put the barn and stuff on. Oh, and this was the next one I made. Vanilla Rock and Roll Perfume Oil. And this is Jojoba Oil Base. 
Um, the other two are not. I don't know what the stuff was, but it was a base that I bought. Um, anyway, what was I going to say about it? Oh, <laughs> uh, right now I have three uh, gift bags. Um, it has a rose clay body scrub, a uh, vanilla rock and roll soap, and the vanilla rock and roll is also in the uh, scrub scent. And what's the other thing that's in there? Oh, a hand lotion or body lotion. And so I had, so, oh, it was so delicious I was making it. I believe this to be a dupe from Lush's American Cream, but I loved it so much that I had to make a perfume out of it. And then in my um, fragrance travels, I found something called Egyptian Dragon. Oh, it's, it's on the order of wintry, warm things. There's musk. I wrote down what's on there. I'm going to have to write it down here and annotate. I haven't made any soapy things for it, from it yet, so you won't see that yet. But it smelled so good, I had to make me a rollerball. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I was going to show you my lipstick. I think it's number nine, but it's Burberry's. Um, I don't know the name. Blush something. But there it is. Thought I need a little bit of color. I know my hair looks terrible. Um, and George is very impatient. He wants to go back outside. It's freezing outside. They are getting the roof section of our barn done so that we can put a sol put solar panels up there. And <laughs> the lift got stuck in the mud and my husband had to pull them out with his tractor. So maybe I'll put that little clip in here for something fun. I know it's not all makeup, but my life is not all makeup anymore. So until next time, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you and I really enjoy your comments. My computer may be slow, so I'm not watching everybody's videos because it takes forever to watch a 10 minute one. <laughs> it probably takes me 45 minutes. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you spending time with me. And until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.